Today I will be showing you how to retarget animations for GTA. First thing, I am already assuming you know how to use Blender and Codewalker to some extent and have solids in installed. I will put a list of things you need to export from Codewalker in the description to start. Once you have all of them exported, open up Blender. Start by importing the head model first. Next, import all the other models and make sure you're attaching them to your head and turn on import external skeleton. Now that everything's imported, you can go ahead and hide your LODs except for the high versions. Now we have to join all the meshes to the head. Select something that is not the head and shift click to the head and join. Continue to do so for the rest of the meshes. Go ahead and delete everything except for the head hierarchy. To make things easier, you can just delete the LOD drawable models. Now you have everything imported. I would suggest turning your model into a T pose instead of A pose because most animations use the T pose. So to do so, you need to select your bones and go to pose mode. Select your upper arm, rotate on the y-axis by negative 45, and rotate your right shoulder on the y-axis by 45. You're not done yet. You have to select your body mesh, go to your modifiers armature, and duplicate it, and apply the first one. Next, go back to your bones and go into the pose mode. Select all, Control A and apply pose as rest pose. Now your model is set for retargeting. Next, you're going to have to download Rococo, which is what allows you to retarget things. Just download the zip and install it as a plugin for Blender. Once you have this installed, you should see a tab here. You can just minimize everything and just make sure this is working. Next, you can find an animation you like. For example, we can use this one. Just download this. I don't have to change anything, just download. There we go. Go back to Blender, import, import FBX. You might have to turn on the built in Blender add on import FBX files, I'm not sure, but go to your downloads and import. Now go to retargeting, go to set your source as the downloaded model, set your target as your GTA model. Now you can build bone list. Make sure all of this is filled in and you should be good to retarget it. Now you can hide your downloaded model and then press play. It seems these models have issues with the hips. I'll see if I can fix that in the future. Now we have to create the animation. Go back to your Solemns tab and select this and go to animation tools and create your clip dictionary template. Rename it. And make sure you put at animation after it. 
can click on animations, create animations, create a uh, clip on clips, and rename these as well. Now, you, have, you can select your bones and see it where the last frame is. So it's 171, go to your, your renamed animation, and go to your solemns tab in the properties and set the hash as the name of it and set the frame count as well. Expand actions and set the name of this animation of your GTA model. Click on your clip and set the hash and name as the name of your clip that's you've created. To get the duration, you have to take the max frames or all the frames, the frame count, and divide it by 30. So 171 divided by 30. So 5.7 seconds. Set that and add a new animation link and set the animation as the animation you created. Set the end frame count, or end frame. Now you're ready to export your animation. Make sure you turn off use parent transform and turn on selected objects. Now open up code walker and create an RPF, doesn't matter where it is, just as long as it's in GTA. Take your XML and drag it into it. Now you can open up your CodeWalker PED viewer to make sure it works. Might take a second to load, but it, once it's done, you can view it. Go to your the clip dictionary and rename it to your animation. It appears it works. So that's pretty much it. I might make a tutorial in the future of how to stream these to your 5M server. Let me know if you are interested in that. Hope this helped.